fire up Mutilus building, I would guess. That expansion hasn't uh, yet been started at the 4 o'clock position from what I could tell from looking at the radar. Uh, good friend getting, uh, once again, pushing out a little bit, uh, just uh, insisting on keeping his opponent away from his base, keeping Shark away, keeping those Urbans away. But Shark, I think, is more than content with the situation. He has got two Sunkans up now, uh, but he's content with the situation, keeping those Marines back. He's now started up that expansion. So uh, those those Mutilus are out. Shark started up the expansion in the 4 o'clock position. Shark looks to be in a very strong position here. It's all going to come down to this Mutilus Karas. It'll be interesting to see how, what good friend's going to have to cope with this. Um, and uh, looks like he's got a decent number of turrets up. He's building th his third turret in his National Expo. He's got a couple of turrets also building in his main. Uh, and it's all going to come down, as it often does, between Zerg and Terran battles uh, to this Mutilus Karas and how effective it can be. I'm not sure how many turrets there are. He's got a, a massive group of turrets to ward off those Mutilus in the middle of the map as well to ward off those Mutilus just in his main. So great turret positioning by good friend. Uh, but he is investing a lot in them. Those barracks are slightly vulnerable. One, the SCV gets picked off that was building the turret. Uh, he's also going to be able to kill, that sec kill off the turret that was actually there protecting the racks. He's brought another SCV out to try and so it looks like Shark has found a slight weak spot in Good Friend's defenses and, and is focusing his attack there, uh, d forcing Good Friend to remain on the back foot. Good, Good Friend successfully defends, hasn't lost, uh, to, uh, taken any damage to his economy. That Medican Marine group is still alive and well in the center of the map. Uh, Looks like Shark looking for another approach. He's going to try and come at the National Expo, but their defenses are quite strong there as well. Um, not actually going for that, trying to get into the American Marine Group from the rear, uh, not able to do any damage there. So, good friend doing a great job of warding off this Mutilus attack while he continues to reap the... Uh, benefits of that natural expo that he, of that quick expansion now able to push out now he feels that he's confident enough in his defenses that he's able to push out with that medic and marine group I feel that Shark probably has enough in terms of Zerglings and Mutilus to be able to defend provided, provided he micros well another Mutilus goes down for Shark unfortunate for Shark Go great micro by good friend catching the Mutilus just as it, just catching the Mutilus just as he was trying to come and pick off one of the Marines he doesn't have any sun guns or any defenses in place at that 4 o'clock expansion uh, and looks like Shark is heading straight for it uh, sorry it looks like good friend is heading straight for it, it looks like he's heading straight for it. I don't think he's got any Zerglings in there either, so this is going to be bad for Shark if he loses this expansion. Um, but after the Mutilus Karas, then one of the other key factors is keeping that expansion alive. He's got a higher disc popping out. He was hoping to get some Lurkers down, but unfortunately for Shark, he is going to lose this, this expansion. He's going to lose everything he has in there. That's going to be unfortunate for him. But looks like Shark is going for the counter here, and I don't think this is going to work. Good friend has already got one, bar one bunker down. He's trying to get a second bunker down. He's got only a handful of Zerglings and his group of Mutilus, and that base is very well defended, and a pathetic attack by Shark fails miserably horrible. Good friend is in a very strong position now. Shark sacrificing that expansion. His Mutilus harass was ineffective and completely impotent um, as limp as an 80 year old guy sorry guys for uh, my younger viewers out there bit of a lapse there but um that was really a very impotent attack by Shark. His mutilus harass was poor, and Good Friend now is in prime, prime position to take this game. And I think he's going to take this game comfortably, uh, and he's going to win the matchup to, and go and face Lucifer in the winners' round in Game Three. Uh, and it looks like it's going to be Shark versus Nara in Game Four. Uh, Shark, what again, yet again, getting his mutilus group out, trying to do a little bit of harass that American mutilus group, and really horrible harass by Shark. He he had plenty of uh, room to maneuver. He didn't really do any damage to his opponent's economy. Lurkers going out. Uh, Good Friend had an SCV position now, so he's those lurkers moving out. Uh, looks like Shark is going to try and commit another suicide attack at Good Friend's ma main. Having lost that fourth expansion, realizing that he's far behind and that he needs to hurt his opponent's economy. Really, he needed to do some damage to his opponent's economy with those mutilists or hurt his opponent's medic and marine group, but Good Friend's micro was just on the money. Really, really sharp and precise micro, not allowing his opponent to inflict any damage. So it looks like Shark now ready to commit himself with his group of lurkers uh, and Zerglings and Mutilists. Meanwhile, Good Friend is sending another uh, group of American Marines out to the another expansion that Shark is building at the eight o'clock phase, and that that hatchery is going to get taken down. It's just a question of whether or not Good Friend is going to be able to capture it. So now, Good Friend going, uh, good, Shark going in. He's got a couple of lurkers bur burrowed in, and that that burrow positioning isn't very good. He should have actually been able to position three of the lurkers at that bunker, but I think he should have taken the other three and gone further in between that and the second bunker, and then he would have been in prime position against Good Friend. Uh, but he's lost a couple of lurkers in the process. Those siege tanks are within range. He doesn't have siege mode. One of the siege tanks is going down. Second bunker gets taken down. Shark in actually a very good position here. He's actually going to be able to do some damage to his opponent's economy. He's got a couple of uh, scourges there as well to try and intercept that, that science vessel as it pops out. Uh, but those scourges are, are not very well positioned. They're within range of the turrets. He's managed to He's trying to get the lurkers up the ramp and within range of the enemy bar barracks. I don't think there is any detection there for a good friend. So good friend in a huge amount of trouble here. Good friend looks like he's actually going to lose this game. I cannot believe this. Good friend in a huge amount of trouble. He was in prime position, dominating the game, and suddenly Shark manages to sneak in and attack with his lurkers and actually break through good friend's defenses. And he's now got lurkers burrowed uh, next to those racks. He's got a science vessel out, but he's not able to, to reinforce his units because there's three lurkers guarding the ramp, so he can't get his medic and marine group up the ramp. He's got zerglings and lurkers uh, among good friend's barracks. 
and Shark is actually going to, in a surprise Shark attack at the last second, Shark is going to come out the victor. Goodfriend was in a comfortable position, but he sent the American Marine Group out to take out that expansion at the 8 o'clock base and left himself a little bit exposed in his main. Um, he didn't manage to take out Shark's forces as they burrowed into his on the attack. And looks like Goodfriend is going for a counterattack of his own because his own base is in tatters now, and this is his last hope. But uh, Shark is well defended. He's got lurkers burrowed there. He's got a couple of sunken there as well. He's got more lurkers morphing. And Shark is actually going to come out and win this game despite Goodfriend having the initiative. Shark with the one incisive attack managing to break the turn defense. Looks like Goodfriend got a little bit cocky, a little bit overconfident, and he's going to pay the price for it with his defeat. Shark will be another hatchery. Uh, at his natural expo, Goodfriend coming in. Uh, Goodfriend with the D Matrix on the one Marine now heading in to try and uh, force that defense down. Realizing that this is the only chance, he's not going to be able to break this. The Lurkers are still alive. Four more Lurkers pop out for Goodfriend, and Shark loses his entire force. Uh, more, or most of his force of American Marines, and Sh Goodfriend is, or sorry, Goodfriend loses his force of American Marines, and he's forced to GG. Brilliant, brilliant counter attack by Shark. You can see from the grin on his face that he knows he's had a lucky escape. He knows he's gotten away from it. He's gotten away from the Hangman's noose. His mutilus micro was in effective his uh, uh, efforts to put down a third expansion were cut down by Goodfriend uh, yet he managed to deliver the incisive hammer blow and put Goodfriend's defenses to the sword uh, and Goodfriend caught with his underwear around his ankles at a bad moment uh, and unfortunately uh, he has been put out of his put uh, he has been put out of his misery by shark so uh, GG guys